What is up, my Butter Biscuits? In today's video, we're going to be talking about Lizzo because y'all, she is in some hot water. Her backup dancers are filing a lawsuit against her. I do want to say before jumping into this, because I am obviously very, very, very uneducated about stuff like this, I wanted to get your guys' opinion, or maybe if somebody really even knows out there, maybe somebody who is a dancer. Aren't dancers kind of like actors? Do you know what I mean? Only because I feel like I've seen so many like dancers for so many years, probably ever since I was a kid, be very provocative. Do you know what I mean? Especially for like Madonna's backup dancers and even like Lady Gaga's before. I feel like this is kind of something, I don't know. I just feel like a lot of backup dancers are very, very provocative. In my personal opinion, I feel like a lot of them are kind of like actors, you know, and you have to like, if a song is like sexy, then you gotta be sexy. If a song is like deep and dark, then you gotta be deep and dark. Like, do you know what I mean? Obviously, I don't know a single thing about dancing. Like literally, I can't even like two step to save my life, y'all. I can't even do the Macarena. I can't do nothing, but I'm really curious about this only because some of the claims that I have seen, there are some things that I'm just like, oh, wow. You know what I mean? But then there's a couple of like, you have to be provocative and stuff like that. And I'm like, isn't that kind of like what back background dancers do? I don't know. You know what I mean? Obviously, we're going to be reading the claims within today's video. And you guys can let me know your thoughts and opinions about this. But I'm very uneducated about this. And I would really like to know. Only because I'm like, y'all, I picture like back in the day when like music videos were a thing. And I'm like, whoa, seeing the background dancers like doing some things. You know what I mean? And I'm like, mm, I just kind of thought that was the thing to do. I don't really know. Anyways, so we're going to be reading that within today's video. Um, Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Also, make sure you guys click down below. Head over to my second channel. That's my travel channel with my brother. I got new good videos popping over there. So make sure you guys go show some love. Y'all, the past three videos are like amazing. Like, y'all, I feel like I'm like Steven Spielberg. I feel like I did a really good job with them. You know what I mean? And y'all, the past three videos that I did probably took me a good 60 hours to edit. Like the total three of them, like 20 hours per video. It was a really lot of work. So a really lot of work. A really lot of work. Yep, that's that's what we're going with today. Y'all know I can't talk, y'all. Anyway, so make sure you guys go show some love over there. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let me shut up and let's go ahead and get into it. Before jumping into the Lizzo stuff, I did want to get your guys' opinion about this too, y'all, because I just be following along everything TMZ. I had saw that they made a post about Blueface too, and I'm like, Blueface and Krishan just really, if I'm being honest with you guys, they blow my mind. And can y'all believe, I li I'm not even exaggerating, I used to be friends with a couple just like that. And I'm like... Woo! I had to step away from that, y'all, because it was just like, oh my gosh, everyday roller coaster. And I'm like, why do people stay with each other like this? Like, I don't get it. Like, you're better off alone. But anyways, if you guys did not see before, there was a video, and I don't remember exactly when this was, y'all. I feel like the older I get, my like time, uh, like time in my mind is just so out. Of, like, I could say that something happened yesterday, and it could have been like three months ago. Like, I don't know what's wrong with my brain. I don't know when this had happened, but I do remember seeing that Blueface was on live, and then apparently, like, he had a stripper over at his house, and then like his son obviously was uninterested because I think he's like six or something like that, and he was like asking him like if he's gay. Well, now. Now, once again on live and it was even on um tmz they had posted a picture of it where he was asking his son like oh if you're gay it's okay and i'm like he's a little boy like i'm i was so confused by this because i'm like can you just imagine if a gay couple was asking their little son if if the kid was gay they're gonna be like oh you're pushing an agenda on him and i'm like he's over here asking that and he's a, he's literally a little boy i thought it said right here like how old he is but it doesn't um, show. Oh, six year. He has six. He is six years old and he's asking his son that. I'm just like, um, why are you asking a six year old that? Like, I am just, it blows my mind, y'all. I'm so sorry. I just had to mention that within today's video before jumping into Lizzo. What do you guys think about that? Because I was like, oh, heaven forbid if a gay couple had asked their son that, they would be like, oh my God, you're trying to force your kid to be this way or that way. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, um, he's over here doing it multiple times. It's kind of weird in my personal opinion. There's a full article about it on TMZ if you guys are interested. I'm not going to be reading that because obviously it's having to deal with a little kid. I'm just curious of your guys' opinion because I just think that's so weird. Like, honestly, y'all, like, my parents didn't even ask if I was gay, like, even in my teens, you know? Like, I'm like... You're asking a six-year-old? Come on. Anyways, we're going to be talking about Lizzo within today's video. So this is what it says right here on TMZ. Lizzo sued by ex-dancers. Working for you was a nightmare. Lizzo is a nightmare to work for behind the scenes, at least according to three of her former backup dancers who are suing for what they claim were awful conditions on the job. Before we jump into this too, I do want to say I do have screenshots from some previous dancers who are not part of the lawsuit but are agreeing. So I'm like, whoa, this is like... 
a big deal right here. So let's go ahead and read it right here. I do want to say I didn't read the full article before going into this. And I do want to let you guys know, I nine times out of 10, well, maybe eight times out of 10, I don't read the full article until like, you know, reading it with you guys. Cause then I feel like I'm like reading it to you guys live <laughs> in my mind so that we guys get my initial reaction. Anyways, maybe that's stupid. I don't know. The singer is named as a uh, defendant in a new lawsuit that was filed by three women who say that they danced for Lizzo and her touring company between 2021 and spring 2023 when they claim they were either unjustly fired or forced to resign due to unbearable circumstances. In the docs obtained by TMZ, Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noelle Rodriguez say they've made it into Lizzo's orbit through her Amazon reality show, Watch Out for the Big Girls, and after making the cut, they allege they were subjected to a number of um, CA, California, I'm assuming, workplace violations, several of which amounted to S harassment, y'all know I can't say that word, false imprisonment, and interference with prospective economic advantage, among other claims. The accusations are being hurled in a few different directions, including some aimed at members of Lizzo's management team, but as it pertains to her specifically, she's being accused by these women of basically holding them hostage in a number of situations. I feel like that is like really deep, y'all. Specifically, the women cite two different instances while on the road with her in Europe earlier this year. They claimed that uh, she subjected them to attend nude shows in Amsterdam and Paris to the uh, to the clear discomfort of her employees. Now, OK, see that part right there. I didn't see I did see on Pop Crave kind of like a listing of all the things she was being accused of. I didn't see that right there. I do want to say that blows my mind because why are you forced to do something that has nothing to do with you background dancing? Why are you forced to go to like a nude club? Do you know what I mean? That right there is a little suspicious and I'm like, okay, that raises some red flags because, you know, obviously say for example, if you're an artist and you want your background dancers like, okay, you guys, this song is a little sexy. You guys got to be a little provocative. Like obviously that makes a little bit more sense, but forcing them to do things that are outside of work and has nothing to do with dance. That's a little strange. Anyways, continuing on. During the Amsterdam outing, they claim Lizzo got, I don't know what, y'all, I literally don't even know what this means. Y'all know every time I'm reading an article, I'm like, what? Educate me down below. Um, goaded, gouted, I don't know, her dancers to touch the nude performers on stage and interact with them in very vulgar and explicit ways. The dancers claim they felt they had to do this in order to maintain their jobs. Another claim against Lizzo, her alleged badgering of these women over alleged poor performance and accusations of drinking on the job, which they say led her to constantly threatening, or led to her constantly threatening them and their positions on her squad. The dancers even claim Lizzo made them re-audition for their spots in a multi-hour rehearsal that sounds brutal. One dancer claims she was forced to pee her pants right there on stage out of fear of taking a break. If that is true, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Obviously, these are all allegations as of right now. If that comes out to true, to be true, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have like no respect for Lizzo only because I feel like, I don't know, like I've looked up to her for so long now. Honestly, even before she was super famous, I remember I got introduced to her thanks to RuPaul's Drag Race. He did have one of her songs on there and I was like, I love this song. Like two years later, it like blew up and I'm just like, whoa. And then she blew up and I'm like always looked up to her like obviously as being a big boy. I've always looked up to her as like being a big girl and embracing that and then now i'm like all oh, this is coming out i'm like oh my gosh y'all that's i don't know that i'm, I'm low-key hoping it's not true because i really do like her one dancer also claims Lizzo was privy to an eating disorder she had and exploited that when she felt this dancer wasn't up to snuff, allegedly forcing her to talk about it. Not okay. Once again, if somebody doesn't want to talk about their disorder, they don't need to talk about it. On top of all that, these dancers claim they were constantly being stiffed on the money front, as well as having to constantly turn down other dancing gigs during pauses on tour. They're suing for major damages. I also do want to say, reading from Pop Crave right here, I do want to read like everything because this sums it up kind of like in an order. So it says specific claims made against Lizzo and her dance captain, Sherlene Quigley, in a lawsuit filed by her ex dancers. Lizzo, accused of wor overworking dancers and making the group re audition in an excruciating 12 hour rehearsal, those she was um, dissatisfied with would be fired and sent home. Accused of firing, firing a dancer for challenging her claim that the group was drinking before performances. Accused of making a thinly veiled comment uh, relating to a uh, dancer's weight gain and later firing her for recording a meeting while suffering an eye condition okay i do want to say this right here if, uh, this is another accusation that once again let me say these are accusations we don't know if they are true if it does come out to be true a comment about a person's weight gain coming from Lizzo, like, girl, how are you, like, you're so bold on it, and you're a big girl, and you stand for that, you ride for that, and then you're going to comment on somebody's weight gain? 
Mm, that will leave a really bad taste in my mouth, especially because, like I said, I literally have looked up to her for years now. And me and my homegirl Genevieve, like, we absolutely love her, especially for her being so proud of, like, being a big girl and just embracing her body. So it's like, girl, you're over here making comments about other people's weight. Come. That's a little hypocritical. Come on. Anyways, moving on. Accused of coercing a dancer into touching a woman's breast at a strip club despite the dancer opposing. Accused of inviting her dancers to a nude cabaret bar without disclosing the specifics of the uh, performance. And then... Quigley, accused of trying to convert the dancers to her religion. Ooh, that's weird. Accused of scolding the dancers for having premarital sex. Accused of unwarrantedly discussing masturbation and S fantasies with the group. So those are all the accusations right there. I do want to say once again, these are accusations. I want to keep saying that obviously just to cover my end. These obviously have not came out to be true yet, but this is... um. This is a little concerning. Do you know what I mean? Those are some those are some harsh things right there. And then the other dancer before um, did make this post on their Instagram stories. For clarification, I'm not part of the lawsuits, but this was very much my experience in my time there. Big shout out to the dancers who had the courage to bring this to light. Somebody um, took a screenshot of that story and added it to theirs. Um, I believe it's Quinn Wilson. And it says, echoing what at Sequest said, heart. I haven't been a part of the world for for um, around three years for a reason. I very much applaud the dancer's courage to bring this to light and I grieve parts of my own experience. I'd appreciate spi uh, space to understand my feelings. So these are two additional backup dancers that are coming forward and sharing their story as well as the three that are already part of the lawsuit. So that's five people now. So I do want to say... It's not looking too good, but once again, just to cover my end, I'm like, these are, you know, allegations. And I'm like, I don't know. This made me feel really bad because I'm like, y'all, like, I don't know. Lizzo seems like such a loving person. And she's, I don't know. She seems so vibrant. She seems like she has a big heart. And then like hearing these things about her, I'm like, whoa, y'all, like, honestly, maybe don't believe everything that you see and read. Like I've watched her before on live and I don't know. She just seems so like humble and down to earth. And I don't know. This just seems, this seems like mean girl energy in my personal opinion. So I'm really hoping that these allegations are like not true, but from the looks of it, it's not looking too good. Anyways, make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything. I'm really curious of what you guys think about this because this to me is low-key mind blowing. Cause I'm like, I wouldn't expect this from Lizzo. Like, am I the only one that thought that? You know what I mean? Anyways, make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.